Hello everyone and welcome to News Expert. Today we're talking about the best of the West Beer and Wine Fest coming up August 10th at the 18th Street Downtown Plaza. It's put on by Next Young Professionals and I have Sierra Ostick with me as well as Lori Bulk. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, Thank you. welcome. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this year's um, event that's coming up. Uh, give us some of the details on this. Of course. So, um, as you had mentioned, it's on August 10th at the 18th Street um, Plaza. And when you arrive at the, the events from 4 to 8, um, you're welcome to attend 2 hours, 4 hours. Um, when you come in, you'll get a taster cup. Um, and that will be used and you can go around to all the beer and wine tables and you can taste as many kinds um, and try as many that you want. Um, we're going to have food trucks on site um, for customer, or not customers, um, attendees to um, be able to go and eat while they um, sample and taste wine. So that'll be good. And we'll have lots of water available as well, okay. um, just in case people don't want to drink or they just need some water, because I know it's probably going to be a pretty warm day. So. Now, now, what type of varieties can people expect uh, when, they, when they come there? Um, usually it's a, a fairly wide selection, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. So we've got a handful of local distributors that'll be coming, um, and we typically are, have around about 50 different beer uh, varieties and um, quite a few selections on the wine side as well. Yeah, that'll be a nice variety for people uh, to take advantage of, especially when it comes to some of the local, uh, local production that does happen mm -hmm. uh, here in the area. Uh, now, 21 and, and over only? Correct. Okay. Yep. So they have to show their ID at the gate or we won't be able to let them in. Last year we had a food vendor come in and wanted to have um, some underage help help them do the serving and stuff, but we just don't, we want to stay away from um, all the legality parts of it as sure. much as we can. So you have sure. to have your ID and be 21. Yep. And uh, that's just kind of the way things go. It, <laughs> it, is, a, it is an adult beverage, so yep. hence you have to be an adult. Of course, there's more to the Beer and Wine Fest uh, than just that. There's also uh, the work that Next Young Professionals does throughout the course of the year. And we'll be back on News Extra to talk about that in just a moment. And we're back on News Extra, and we're talking about the ninth annual Best of the West Beer and Wine Festival taking place uh, coming up August 10th at the 18th Street Downtown Plaza. It's put on by Next Young Professionals, and I have Sierra Ostick as well as Lori Bulk with me today. Again, thank you very much for joining me. You're welcome. There's a little bit more to the uh, Beer and Wine Fest uh, than we've talked about before. Entertainment, always a big part of these types of, uh, of events. Yep, we're going to have the Greendales um, live and on location with us, so it'll be kind of a kind of cool, nice, soothing music, and it should be a good time. Yeah, definitely will be, and of course, uh, more than 50 types of uh, beers and um, various assorted wines available for tasting. Mm -hmm. um, now, with the tasting, is it uh, one, one price gets you in and you can taste everything? How does that work? Yep, so the price of the ticket is $30. Um, so once you get into the gate, um, like I said, for them four to eight, you can try as many different kinds as you want. So 30 bucks to get into the event for four hours. And, and does this raise funds for Next Young Professionals? Uh, it does, okay. And, and let's talk a little bit about the work that Next Young Professionals does do here in the community. Uh, give us some examples of some of the things that the organization has been involved in. So, um, we do a lot of volunteering throughout the area. We help with the jingle jog and um, the Thanksgiving dinner that they put on. Um, Monument Marathon. The Monument Marathon, yep, that's mm -hmm. a big one. We also do the Spring Up the Bluff that just happened last April. So that was a really fun, fun event. But as far as the Beer and Wine Fest goes, the proceeds we get for that goes to um, just an organization of our choosing. Last year we mm -hmm. chose to help the city of Scotts Bluff put in a audible crosswalk at 27th and B in Scotts Bluff. So that was a really big accomplishment. Yeah, and, and it's a, a really fun event that gets a lot of attention, a lot of attendance, mm -hmm. and uh, therefore usually uh, you, your proceeds tend to be a nice sized yes. donation so, yep. for certain things. Now, have you decided this year what the benefit is going to be or who or which organization? We have not. Um, we have decided to take a little bit different approach on the event itself. Um, so we're not sure how that's going to affect our proceeds at the end. So we're going to wait until 
we get to the bottom line and then we'll decide from there. Okay, well that certainly makes sense. And of course, the event itself coming up on August 10th from four until eight o'clock, give us a little bit more detail again. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so once again, uh, tickets are $30 and you can buy those either at the chamber currently or online on Eventbrite. Um, we will also have them available the day of the event um, so you can purchase them at the gate. Um, you will receive a taster cup when you come in through the gates um, and you're allowed to try as many varieties of beer and wine that you want and you can stay the whole time if you would like from four to eight. Sounds like it's going to be a good time with plenty of food, plenty of uh, drinks and a lot of entertainment and a lot of um, camaraderie with uh, a lot of mm -hmm. folks that will be uh, stopping in for the ninth annual Best of the West Beer and Wine Festival put on by the next young professionals. Sierra, Lori, thank you very much for joining us on News Extra today. Thank, thank you. you.